Did you know that there has been a nightly protest at the White House every day since Trump's meeting with Vladimir Putin in Helsinki? Well, there is. And you're going to hear about it now because longtime actress and longtime thorn in Donald Trump's side, Rosie O'Donnell, joined the mix and brought all of these stars from Broadway with her. Why? Let's find out. Rosie O'Donnell, thank you for being on Cuomo Primetime. Thanks for having me, Chris. So you're down there in the nation's capital. It's being billed as a party with a purpose. What is the purpose? The purpose is to remind people of the truth that lives inside them. So when they're so confused and lied to by our president and this administration, they're able to find that thing about America that they love and that's true and that's real. And remember that feeling and hold on to that feeling as we go through these next very tumultuous weeks as we lead up to the election and the Mueller report finally coming out that it's going to be very loud and it's going to be very crazy and we all have to remain focused and and uh, centered on the truth. Is it just good vibes that you're spreading there or do you have a message of what you want to happen with this president? Well, I think most of America wants him to be out, although you can't tell that from reading some of the, you know, watching Fox News or whatnot, which is just like state-run TV in Russia at this point. So all we have to do is, is encourage people to show up, to protest, to use their voice to save democracy. We've got just a couple months till November, and till then, uh, we have to fight with everything we got, because if somehow they're able to rig the elections again, as I believe they did in 2016, then uh, we're going to all be in trouble as democracy dies right here on our watch. Well, one step at a time. The Russian interference is a known fact. The impact on the election is not a known fact. You believe the actual outcome well, was rigged or just that there were efforts? Yeah, we yes. No, I do believe it was rigged. I don't believe it was efforts. And if you listen to all of our mainstream intelligence people, they believe it, too. Well, they don't I believe think that votes it took were the mainstream changed. Media well, I do believe that there were exact... Well, you know the facts, right? You know yes. the facts. What do I think? Did, did they come in there and make Trump win when every single exit poll and every person in America knew for sure that Hillary Clinton was going to win? Do you think that there was anything to do with Russia or just a real big swirl for Donald Trump in these specific areas with the same exact amount of votes that were needed? I don't know. It looks very hanky to me. Here's why I ask you about uh, what this is about. Because let's say you win. Let's say the Democrats win. You get the House, probably not the Senate, but you get the House. There's a call for impeachment among progressives yes. like yourself. Two things happen. Well, I don't think it's just progressives, Chris. All right. There will be a call for impeachment from all those not heard who are the majority in America. OK, I give you that fact. I'll stipulate to it for the point of this argument. OK. So everybody calls out. You don't have the votes. It doesn't happen. You galvanize support for the president, and we are torn more apart in this country. Are you worried about that outcome? No, I am not. I am believing in the American people. I believe in this country. I believe in what it was founded on. I believe in the Constitution. I think that on Election Day, we're going to show up in a huge way, in a way that we haven't ever seen before in the United States. And people have just really had enough. They've had enough of a president who separates families and puts babies in cages. You know all of the catchphrases. Every day he does something worse than the day before. And he tops it and tops it and tops it. I believe that Trump is loathed in America, that people are embarrassed and ashamed of who he is, and that come election day, we're going to stand up at the polls and let him know. And unless he goes in and has the Russians kind of fix it like he did last time in 2016, you know, we're going to see him gone. And that's what I'm waiting and hoping for and hoping that people across the country are inspired to use their own voice in whatever way to get people to know that this country is worth fighting for. Amen on that. The more people get involved, the higher the voter percentage is, the more people will get what they want. It will reduce the effects of money on politics. It will make everything better. Not perfect but better. So I'm all with you. The more people go out and vote their conscience, the better, whatever their conscience is. Here's my other concern. Uh, there is yeah. reason to criticize the president. I am not going to fight you on that point. However, for the Democrats uh, to come into mainstream power, so that means that they have what the Republicans have right now, the House, the Senate, the White House, I think history suggests you have to be more than anti. You have to be pro- things. You have to give people a reason to believe. You have to give them some type yes. of sense that captures their imagination and gives them hope. 
What is that for Democrats yes, where they like, can say not just he's a liar, he's a bad guy, but here's how we'll make the economy even better, which is hard given the numbers, that we'll be even safer than we are, because that's what people will be looking to. Well, when you report the economy, you report how it affects the top 1% or you, affect, you report how it affects everyone. The economy is doing good if you're a multi-billionaire. It's not doing good and the tax cuts didn't do good for the average American. So I don't believe that the economy is thriving with the uh, metrics that you guys are using. But the fact of the matter is, he's not only bad because he's a liar, he's bad because he doesn't know how to inspire people or evoke that emotion in them of, of what about his rallies? knowing. And first of all, people are paid, Chris. You know that. People were paid since he went down on the escalator. He pays people to show up at right, those but rallies. I don't that know that that's, but I don't know that that's why he gets tens of thousands at the rallies. I think he ca captures a well, lot of emotion for people. He doesn't get tens of thousands. When did he get tens of thousands at a the lot last of these rally? Tell me when. Well, no, not at the, at the Tampa. I think they only had 9,000 seats and there were people outside. But, Rosie, I've seen them. He gets big groups of people who come out. He, re he gives themes that resonate. Whether they're, they're positive paid, or not, Chris? that's up to other people to decide. Maybe but some Chris, are. I don't are know. I can't. Are people paid? I don't have the facts that his crowds are bought but you off. Can look I don't have on, that. You can look at... Well, you can look at all the requests for extras to come and cheer and with signs for him. You can find those tangible pieces of evidence. He, those are not real rallies. You know, when he went down on that escalator, he paid all those people there calling rapists and Mexicans rapists. This is not real, what he's doing, even though he keeps screaming that you guys are not real. But right, the well, more look, that he, I know he does that. His... I know he does that, Rosie, but listen. I mean, look, I've known you a long time. You've known my family a long time. I don't judge yeah, what I, I judge, and look, and mom would be the first one to say, let him say what he's going to say. You say what you know is true. You always keep your dignity. You always fight the good fight. So that's what we do. When he came down that escalator, did I see the reporting that there were paid people there? Yes, I did. Did I believe it? Yes, I did. Have I seen it at all of these rallies? No. So I'm not going to do what the president does. I'm not going to say they're all bought off. They're all fake because I think that's BS. I don't think it's true. And I'm not going to play to it just because it's satisfying. But you could do the evidence to find out sure, whether we do or it not all it's the time. true and then lead with that, we do lead it all with the that time. story before you play his rally. Listen, to play his rally I don't to play me his is rallies. just falling into his hands. I don't play his Good. rallies. I do truth check I'm every glad. night. We do fact checks every night. Good. I do magic walls. I find all these different devices because I want people to know what's real and then they can act on it. And that's why I'm talking to you, Rosie, yes. because people need to know what you're doing, know where people's voices are, and then they can make their own decisions about which side to join. And hopefully there's common ground that gets here sooner rather than later. I hope. I hope there is common ground. You know, people ask me all the time, your son's a Marine. How can you have a son who's a Marine when you're so such a leftist, pacifist kind of a person? Well, I love and respect my son, and I can hold two opposing thoughts in my head at one time. One is that I'm terrified that something horrible is going to happen to him, and the other is that I'm so immensely proud of the commitment that he has given to this country because he believes in this country mm -hmm. the same way that I do. I believe in America and what it stands for in the Constitution, and this president and administration has done everything they can to undermine it, and it's not okay. Well, listen. It's not all right in any way, and we have to use our voices and fight. You do exactly that. That's why good men and women like your son are fighting for our freedoms. And when somebody serves in a exactly. family, the whole family feels it. The whole family sacrifices. So thank you to your entire clan for the dedication to the country thank and the you. service of your son. Thank you, Chris Cuomo. <laughs> Peace. Let's see. We'll be following what happens at the White House, and we'll see what the impact of this party with a purpose is all about.